So what is earliest time? Earliest time is the the early start and early finish. This is earliest time, whether early start or early finish. So the first step is to calculate the earliest time. How to calculate the earliest time, which is the the first box? It should be the first box here. This is the earliest time. So how to calculate the earliest time? We you need to remember this one. We need to go forward from left to right. When you go to left, left to right, you need to have plus plus. So whatever value you, you just add plus plus. Then you look on the head of the arrow to know how many options do we have. If we have more than two options, we select the higher option. Okay, for now, this is quite confusing, but when we start calculating, it will be more easy and more simple. We start here, zero. Zero plus five will be five. Okay, here, we look on the head since we are moving forward because we are calculating the earliest time. We just need to calculate this, the first box, which will represent the earliest time with our early start or early finish. So zero plus five is five. We go plus plus. If we go forward, left to right, we just add plus plus. Here at this dot, how many heads do we have toward this circle? How many heads do we have? We have only one head. So we have only have one direction, only have this direction, one option. So it would be five plus two would be seven. This is how simple it is. Now here, how many options do we have? It means how many heads are coming to this circle? We have one and we have two heads. Two heads, it means that we have two options. We calculate for all of them and select the highest number. Okay, there is one coming from here and one coming from here. Yes, this is dummy activity, but still we consider it and we consider that it has zero duration. So we calculate for both direction, this direction and this direction. From this direction, it would be zero plus three. The first option is three. The second option here is five plus zero, five. So we have three and five. Which one we select? We select the highest. So we will go with the five. This is how, how this one works. You need to just memorize this one that when we go forward, we keep plus adding and we look on the head to know how many options. If there is more than one option, if there is two options or three options, two or three heads of the arrow. So we calculate for all of them and select the highest. Okay, what next? Here at this one, if we need to calculate for this early, early, early time, how many options do we have? We, ha we have two heads are coming to this point. It means that we have two options. What we need to do, we need to calculate for both of them and select the highest value. The first one coming from here would be seven plus five, 12. So this is the first option. The one coming from here would be five plus nine plus four, which would be nine. So we have 12 and we have nine. Which one we select? We select the highest, which would be 12. Okay, we'll come here. How many options do we have? It means how many heads do we have? We have two heads. So how many options? Two options, one coming from here and one coming from here. The one coming from here, we calculated seven plus nine, 16. So this is the first option. The second option, is which is coming from here, 12 plus two would be 14. So this is 14. So we have 16 and 14. Which one we select? We select the highest, which is 16. Here, how many options? Only one option coming from here. So it would be 16 plus four would be 20. So this is the first step, calculating the alias time the first the first box is here the first box is represent the alias time how to calculate the basis time you need to memorize this one in order for you so you don't confuse so you go forward keep plusing zero plus five 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 plus two seven etc plus 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 and in order to know how many options do you have you look on the you look at the head of the arrow if you have more than head 
two hits, three hits, is this is this represent the number of options you have. So if you have more than one option, two or three, so you calculate for all of them and select the highest. So this is the first step to calculate the earliest time. Okay, now we start calculating the latest time, which is the second, the second box here. This this box is. So how to calculate the latest time? We need to go backwards. In the in in in, in calculating the earliest time, we go forward from left to right. But now. To calculate the latest time, we need to go backwards. So we go backward, we go with minus minus, not plus, and we look on the tail of the op of the of the arrow in order to know how many options. And if we have more than one option, we select the lowest. It's totally the opposite of this one. So when we go backward to calculate the latest time, we look on the head or oh, sorry the tail of the arrow minus minus if we have more than one option we select the lowest so starting from here we go back initially we if we start from here to go right now we start from the right to go back in order to calculate the latest time so we start we just follow this one 20 so 20 minus 4 would be 16. okay we come here how many options do we have when we go backward, how many options do we have? We look on the tail. So how many tail is coming to this one? Only one tail. So it means we only have one option. But when we go back forward, we have two options because we are looking on the head of the arrow. But when we go backward, we look on the head, the tail of the arrow to know how many options. So how many options? We have only one option. So only one coming from here. And it will be 16 minus 2. 16, this 16 minus 2, it will be 14. We come here. How many options do we have? We look on the tail of the arrows. We have two options, the one coming from here and the one coming from here. We calculate for all of them and select the lowest. The one from here is 16 minus 9 would be 7. So 7 is the first option. The second option is coming from here. 9 14 minus 5 14 minus 5 it would be 9 we have 7 and 9 which one we select we select the lowest number here how many options or we come here how many options we have only one option because we look on the tail we have only one option it means that we have only one direction so we have 14 minus 4 which would be 10. Here, how many options? We have two options. We still consider the dummy activity. We have two tails. We have two tails. So we have two options, the one from here and one coming from here. We calculate for all of them. Seven minus two would be the five. This is the first option. From here, 10 minus zero would be 10. We have five and 10. Which one we take? We take the lowest number. Here, how many options do we have? We have two options. We look on the tail, the one coming from here and one coming from here. We calculate from here, 5 minus 5, 0. The second option will be 10 minus 3, 7. So we have 0 and 7, which one we select the lowest. So we are done of calculating the earliest time and early finish and late uh, uh, early start, early finish, late start and late finish. So this is the same. This is how we get these numbers. Now the question, what is the total project duration? The total project duration is 20 days. 20 days so we need 20 days in order to complete the whole project with this kind of relationships and the this duration for each activity so what we have learned today we have learned how to determine the total project duration based on calculating the early start and early finish late start and late finish we have learned what are the difference between the early start, early finish, and late start, late finish, the earliest time and latest time. And after we draw the network diagram, then we start calculating this one. And based on this one, we get the total project duration for calculating first that we need to calculate the first box, which represent the earliest time. How we calculate it? We move from 
left to right forward forward we go plus plus we look on the head if we have more than one option if we have more than one head toward the circle it means that we have different options we might have two or three options what we need to do we need to calculate for all of them and select the highest number then after we completing the first box which is the earliest time we need to go backward from right to left to calculate the latest time of the activities so we go backward minus minus if we look on the tail of the arrow to know how many options do we have if we have more than two or three arrows we calculate for all of them and select the lowest until we get these numbers this is the early start and early finish for all the activity and this is the total project duration so thank you for listening and in the following session we'll start determine learn how to determine the critical path and the critical activities